uh, we're going to be talking about Activision. Obviously, um, Activision has been in the news lately because of the updates to Warzone. But there's some other news that we should be following, right, Malik? Yeah, so uh, Microsoft acquired Toys for Bob um, kind of passively back in 2005. And Toys for Bob, if you're not familiar, uh, did Crash Bandicoot 4, uh, the most recent one. And now that team is being moved over the whole Toys for Bob dev team is going to be moved over to helping with Warzone. Um, because of that, a lot of people have left Toys for Bob, um, including to themselves making some layoffs. And Ooh. this is one of those things where I don't I don't want to talk bad on Activision's names, but their acquisitions haven't been the most favorable in recent years. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of disappointing, especially after what a week, two weeks, we get the PlayStation news um, about, you know, them forcing. Uh, I can't remember the name of the smaller studio that went over to work with Naughty Dog. Um, and and, yeah, there we go. And it's just. Um, it's kind of sad because you really want to see, I mean, obviously Crash Bandicoot probably didn't sell to the numbers that they would like, um, but it's kind of sad to see them take these smaller studios that could possibly, you know, be working on passion projects and bringing new IPs and just yeah. kind of uh, homodulating them into, into one IP and one title. What do you guys think? I mean, I know Warzone has been a big moneymaker for Activision and I know Camille, you're all about the Warzone. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on this? I think you kind of just touched on it at the very end. Like Activision isn't the company for passion projects. They're, I mean, there's no way around it. Like Activision is the business side of gaming, like right. to a T, yeah. right? Like you see lots of other third party studios just go out and try to revitalize old franchises, bring in, bring them to new generations and everything. And sure, yeah. to a certain extent, Activision did that too with Crash, Spyro, um, and, and the like. But at the end of the day, it's Warzone. It's Call of Duty, and it's yeah. hitting hitting on that at full steam ahead. And to be honest, like it's a shame that for the time being, we're not going to see a Spyro announcement anytime soon. Same with Crash or anything like that. But yeah. yeah, that's the business side, right? And you kind of have to accept that, unfortunately, because video games is a business first and foremost. Uh, it's it's all about generating revenue streams for for these companies. But I mean. That being said, like they just said that they're a support studio. There's nothing saying that they can't go into pre-production and start, you know, brainstorming ideas for um, for a Spyro game or a Crash Bandicoot game. To me, this kind of just reads as a culmination of everything we've been hearing about Warzone. It's that as soon as the pandemic hit, they didn't know how to react to it, mm -hmm. which led to that that map that was that was that brand new map that was supposed to come out being delayed and then canceled and then they went to like Verdansk 84 and everything this to me the fact that um Andy Robinson from uh, VGC also came out and said I was uh, he was told that virtually every studio that Activision has is working on Warzone to some capacity which includes Binox and uh High Moon Studios as well this kind of just reads to me as Activision saying let's get everyone on board here and catch up because yeah. we are in big trouble if we mm -hmm. if we can't if we can't service Warzone if we can't get the next Call of Duty on track we're going to be in big trouble come the fall so I think I think this yeah this raises cause for concern for the time being but I don't I don't think it's the end all be all I, I think that Toys for Bob will be back in some capacity working on their own games in the future once I Activision's well, mainstay and biggest asset is back on on track yeah I don't think this means yeah. big trouble necessarily. Um, for Activision, I think it's just a new way, like I completely agree with everything else you were saying, Steve, but I think it's just a new way of how to conduct business. It's like, sure. if we're gonna yeah. have all these studios under us, create these games that are not selling as our biggest franchise, let them get a piece of that cake so maybe we don't have to do as much layoffs as possible. Yes. Um, you know, yeah. if, if, if I they didn't acquire <laughs> Toys for Bob, everyone would have been gone from that studio, mm -hmm. um, right? So right. I think it it may be just a new thing we are seeing with studios trying another, like another strategy of how to conduct business. And it does butt heads obviously with the creative side, but what to, to Steve's point, um, it is a business, right? So they are gonna be looking at the numbers. They are unfortunately looking at what sells. Um, and 
if they're going to fund a studio, they have to make sure that they're either selling what sells um, or putting out what sells or they're contributing to that product. Yeah. And you and also, too, I think, Steve, you, you made me think of, you know, and you kind of brought this to light is that like you're they're maybe trying to get, you know, Spyro or another Crash Bandicoot in another capacity. We've already seen Jade Raymond go and found her own studio. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, oh, Mike Morhaime, um from Blizzard went and created his own studio yep. earlier this year. I would love to see more Hello Games house mark. Mm-hmm. Like just these these studios surrounded by people who are passionate about gaming who maybe were a little bit burned by the industry and maybe they have that fire under them to you know really create something amazing and wonderful and prove everyone wrong because i think that only good things can come from creative people working together and i think that these people who were burned by the industry in the past few years and maybe didn't feel as taken care of um you know especially when you look at like the cd project red situation right when we start to see you know these game developers come together um outside of you know what was previously thought is you have to be with a big studio you have to be supported by one of the big three like that that is something good that can come out of all of this Mm -hmm. yeah and i just want to clarify one thing because i know uh malik brought it up and obviously it's a it's a bad thing talking about like layoffs and everything but one thing that i saw not going around that much was that activision did claim that those reports were inaccurate that no one was Did laid they? off. From, yeah, uh, I just read, okay. people had announced that they left. So maybe yes, there was one got... individual, um, I, Nicholas I, Cole. Yes, came out on Twitter and said that he he left. But there was a report that was given to GameIndustry.biz that said, "quote Reports of layoffs at Toys for Bob are incorrect. There's right, not incorrect. been okay been a reduction in personnel recently at the studio, uh, and then just kind of go." was on uh that they're fully operating with full time i mean that's good then gotcha gotcha and that's good yeah people hadn't like necessarily like lost their jobs due to this it is unfortunate because i mean of course everyone loves to see a developer i mean plus like what they did with crash is cool you know and and i'm sure like a lot more people they would want to see more passion projects like that but um but camille is right you know that, that that this is it's not the end all right like this is not it for toys for bob it's not like that's it you guys are working on Warzone till Mm -hmm. the end of time um, this is just right now the next project that they're being put on. And yeah, you 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 said it and put it the best way you possibly could, uh, Stephen, that Activision is about the business. They are about the numbers the same way EA kind of has been. But then again, what uh, what can come from that is that even though they're about the numbers and EA will say, hey, we got to make a Star Wars game. You hand it off to someone like Respawn, who's like actually passionate about making sure. a star wars game so there's still good that can come from it even though it's still treated as the business um and that is the way that activision sees it and unfortunately that's kind of how they have to see it warzone is a massive success now pretty much i think safe to say on the scale of a Fortnite. It is a game that will be ongoing for a very long time. They have to continue to support it and do whatever they can to make sure that it's up and running for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. And so they're scrambling a little bit due to the pandemic, of course, and due to the times. But hopefully when they kind of land on their feet and everything's okay, then we can see studios like uh, Toys for Big. Uh, Is that right? Did I get that right? Toys for Bob. Bob. Toys for Bob. (laughs) Um, Sorry, like Toys for Bob, getting back to their passion project, getting back to the games that they truly want to make and be involved in. Yeah, Yeah. and it'll be interesting, too, because it's such a weird I I really do feel for the devs because that's a complete change in the types of game you're developing. Absolutely. Um, So there's definitely going to be a curve there. And I think, you know, like uh, Nicholas Cole, why he left, um, he said he left on his own terms. I can understand why some developers may want to leave for their own terms. And, you know, they're they're free to do that. But um, at the same time, I think this may be, it's going to be interesting to watch this trend because I feel like we're going to hear more stories about studios taking on a strategy like this. Yeah. Um, sure. As we go through in the gaming world um, over the years. Uh, but for mm-hmm. now, we're going to take a quick breather. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to be right back. We're going to be talking about Returnal as well as maybe some Marvel news. We'll see. All right. Awesome. We'll be right back. Hang on, guys. <laughs> 